begin with our friend George Santos, the It's Pat of Congress. I'm sorry, but what is he? Is he a man, a woman, Asian, Latino, Latina, several children stacked on top of each other, an old woman from the future? But one thing we know for sure, He'll be a congressman for at least a few more hours. The clock is now ticking on the brief, tumultuous congressional career of New York Republican George Santos. The House could vote as early as tomorrow on whether to expel the embattled Republican after an investigation found evidence of flagrant ethics violations. But he's not going down quietly. I have co uh, colleagues who are more worried about getting drunk every night with the next lobbyist that they're going to screw and pretend like none of us know what's going on. This happens every single week. Where are the ethics investigations and that? Within the ranks of the United States Congress, there's felons galore. There's people with all sorts of shysty backgrounds. And all of a sudden, George Santos is the Mary Magdalene of the United States Congress. Yes. The Mary Magdalene of Congress. This is just like George Santos. You know which biblical sinner I am? The hot one. But let's make one thing very clear. If any Republican is Mary Magdalene, it's Ron DeSantis. I mean, with those hooker boots, come on. He's clearly working the streets at night. He's like, I'll suck your dick if you teach me how to smile normal. Okay, where was I? <laughs> uh, yeah, George Santos. He's about to be just the sixth person in history to get thrown out of Congress. And he thinks it's unfair because everyone else is corrupt too, which, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we know the government is corrupt and all these guys are doing the same thing you do, George. The difference is they're doing it way better than you. <laughs> it's so easy to figure out your crimes. It's not even fun. It's like doing an escape room in a gazebo. <laughs> And the thing is, the thing is, I do believe you, George. I do believe that congressmen are getting drunk, sleeping with lobbyists, and profiting as much as possible at the expense of the people. We all know that already. What we don't know are the specifics. Tell us who, what, where, which orifice. Snitch, snitch, my sweater-vested friend. <laughs> in fact, we'll make a deal right, we'll make a deal with you right now. You can stay in Congress if you're our inside guy. You know, our little congressional TMZ. I'll even move to your district to vote for you. Where, where is this district? It's Long Island? Okay. I will tell people to move to your district. And just by the way, if you want to survive this expulsion vote, maybe try, just try, to take one photo where you don't look like you were caught while committing a crime. <laughs> this little guy. <laughs> he looks like he's rifling through Nancy Pelosi's purse while she's in the bathroom. <laughs> or like he's saying, don't mind me just duct taping a knife under this chair for no reason. <laughs> That's the look I get when, when someone in a second floor window sees me peeing in an alley. <laughs> they tape up next to the Sephora register. Like, this guy can't back, come back. He keeps licking the testers. This 